Hey everyone, it's Stevio here. So we just got back from a game. We went to the local football game. I saw Grant there talking to him. Uh, he said that he's in the middle of corn harvest and he's a little behind. He was asking if we could help him out. And of course, I jumped to help him out. I would love to show him how the case combine goes against them John Deers. But so we had fun at the local uh, football game. I don't know why Squad was there, but there was a male cheerleader kept waving at him. Looked a lot like that uh, Aston Bustin guy, his his uh, worker that works for him. Anyways, he said he was going to call and uh, when he needs us. Hey, what's up? Hey, that was a heck of a game, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was a good game. Uh, so, are you still down to help me harvest? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, no we're problem. Gonna be I'm, I'm trying to run for probably two hours tonight, and then I'm going to run all day tomorrow. Okay. okay. All right. Do you Are you going to bring the case down, then? Yeah, I just have to go pick up the corn head I bought at the lot, and then I'll be headed down. Okay. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to have Austin probably run the grain cart and maybe the... I think he should be done cheerleading soon, and we'll have him run grain cart and maybe grady wagons or something like that. Was he that male cheerleader I saw? <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes, okay, don't... Yes, that was him. That was him. Yeah. yeah oh, man. That was him. Okay. So I don't know if he's going to come in the cheerleading suit or not, but <laughs> he should be here soon, so... All right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I don't know if we should ask him about. Oh, he's. You know what? He's pulling up right now. I think he must be done with the game. All right. Hopefully, he changed us. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hopefully, he did. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know if I should talk to him about it. Uh, anyways. Okay. Uh, which we'll field you. are you on? Uh, come to the main farm. Okay. We'll be probably at the main farm. Or actually, you know what? It's the field across from the main farm. You should see us out in the field. It's just right across from the home farm here. All right, I'll be there in about five to ten. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you then. All right, later. So while we were watching Austin uh, with the pom-poms and everything, uh, me and Grant were talking. Grant says he's a little bit behind on his corn harvest, so I said uh, I'm done. So I'd be more than happy to help you out because you helped me out. So we need to hurry up, get grease be spine greased up ready to harvest and I need to go pick up a corn head at the dealer but so let's do that right really quickly all right got everything greased up everything still looks we changed all the configurations to corn so we're ready to go now so we're headed out to the dealer so I'm probably just going to drive it down the road because it's going to take too much time getting the semi and trailer hooked up. So I'm just going to drive it and I'm going to have to drive that 12 roll corn head down the road at dusk. That is probably not a good idea but I really need to get there to help them out so we're going to do it. So hopefully... I don't meet anybody on the road, but we fingers crossed. So I already know I'm going to get a lot of smack talking because Grant, Austin, they are John Deere green. They bleed green. I bleed whatever color I'm driving. This beast of a combine is perfectly fine in my book we're almost to the dealership here got to pick up the head so I uh, think the head is going to be green yeah it just has to be so it's the head I purchase is green so unfortunately it is but John Deere makes some really good corn heads so does case but really doesn't matter if it uh, works in my books. So we got the head hooked up. 
What do you know? A John Deere does go on red. Has anybody got that uh, holiday spirit feeling? Has anybody's wives put up their Christmas trees in October? If so, I know how they feel. But we need to get to uh, Grant's Field there. Let's get to going. That was Jake that just passed us right there. Kind of cool. Don't know. He must be running up to the co-op. Must have to unload somebody. So you guys probably thought I was driving by Casey's without stopping. No, you didn't. You knew I was going to stop. Come on. Count by at Casey's. It's normal. In Iowa. Let's get some coffee. Alright, we need this coffee. It's going to be a late night harvesting, so... Coffee is... It's always easier with coffee in your belly. So we're taking the back roads because we're driving at night with this 12-year-old cornhead. I know. I know it's not safe, but we really don't have another option. We don't have a uh, header cart right now. So we're trying to take the back roads and take it slow as possible. We got all of our hazards on. Should be all right. I kind of gave uh, Grant a bad e-tech. I said 10 minutes and it's taken like 30. But it's not very military-like to be late. We're almost there. It's the green cornhead's fault, not the red combine's fault, so. But we're almost there. Oh, is that Stevio I see? Hey, you guys uh, can hear me? Am I in range? You're in range. Yeah. I don't see you, though. But you're in range. I see him. Coming uh, right at the end of the field here. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry, it took a little bit longer mating this green onto the red. <laughs> what the? What? Oh, at least you can. Oh, okay. Now you can't make jokes of him, Austin. What do you mean? He's got he green on him. Well, I said it wasn't going to, so. But I mean, what the heck is that thing? You guys have to come over here and uh, listen to what a real combine sounds like. Oh boy. Stevio, so I'm thinking you can work that in and I'll just work at this end. We'll just keep rolling. Or do you want me to follow you? Ooh, actually, you know what? I'll follow you, Stevio. All right. Try to keep up. Stevio, what speed you running at, man? Uh, seven mile an hour. Same. Man. What is, uh, what's your yield monitor reading at? It's reading 190 bushels to the acre over here. Getting uh, 195 on this end over here. You're getting 195? See, uh, yeah, on the other end of the field, I was getting 196. But right now, it's only showing 190. It's weird. Huh. Maybe my yield monitor is off and yours is accurate or what? I don't know. Maybe I'm not pushing as much out the back. True, <laughs> true. Oh, you missed mm -hmm. some, Stevio. She's oh. one staining still. That's for the deer. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm thinking we'll get this field done tonight, and then uh, you can head home, and then we'll get up early in the morning, 7 a.m., keep going. I got the home field to do. There's about uh, 120 acres there that we got to knock out. It's all corn. It's going to be good yielding corn, too, so that'll take all day tomorrow, probably. All right, sounds good. It's not going to take long for this field. Yeah, we'll be done quick with this one, especially with the two of us run. Yep. Uh, Grant, you... How long until you are going to need unloading there? I got about 200 bushels left. Um, I could probably get unloaded on this next round coming back uh, towards the south here. That would work good. Okay, I was going to say I'll go uh, dump this this, uh, this load, but I'll just wait. How much room do you have in there? Because I could top you off here. Oh, I still got lots. Okay. I'm just over 50%. Okay. Grant, you get a new cart? I did. I did. We've been trading equipment like crazy. Yeah. Grant can't seem to keep up his mind. It's a 1,400 bushel grain cart. I think this will work good. Whoa. That's crazy. Yeah. 
What's really nice about it is just having the storage just out in the field, I guess. 14 year bushels, you can store a lot of grain in there. It's nice to just have almost as a holding tank. Yeah, that big floating tires probably floats right over the ground, too. Yeah, and then on the duels, me and Austin decided to throw 8970. We had uh, we had some fatties sitting around, so we tossed some fatties on there, and uh, and that works good. Because we got the big uh, Kinsey with the big tires, and then the 8970 with big tires. Everything seems to be working good. Nice. You uh, have any mud in your fields this year? Uh, we haven't yet. This well, we had was a some little wet, I guess. Yeah, I guess. You know what? Did we get stuck this fall? Or did well, we, we all? We almost all of us got stuck. We got combine yeah. stuck. Yeah, Jake got the combine stuck, so we did have mud. And the yeah, other and the corn. Wet. I guess in this cornfield, I haven't ran into bad mud yet. I guess. Is what yeah, I finally decided it was going to dry up. Yeah. That's good. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, Stevie, are I'm you good? Uh, I'm gonna need unloaded on this this once I turn around here. All right. I got about a hundred, so you could unload Grant if you need it. No, I just finished unloading Grant. He's good. Uh, yeah, you're gonna probably have to get me on this one. Steve, you like the American flag edition? That looks nice in that case. Yep, trying to be patriotic. Yeah. How fast are you going? Seven. Holy crap, uh, that thing's screaming, Stevio. Oh, yeah. Let's pull down a little bit. Oh, my gosh, he's struggling. It's it's because it's got that John Deere header on it. It's not used to that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to listen to this thing purr. It's it got the best sound. sound. It does. I'll admit that it mm -hmm. does. I just created two case fans. <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't say that. In two case fans were just born. That's how they get born. That's how they get bred. All right, I'm full. All right. I'm going to whip around and head back to the truck. Okay, and then we'll head back there. You don't have to keep running back out to the field, obviously. All right. And this thing clips along pretty good. Even with a full, full green card, it still rips. You feel that thing behind you? Hardly. Wow. I mean, it's there, but it's not too bad. Stevio, you got that end down there? Are you getting all of it? Yep. Oh, nice. How many bushels do these uh, gravity wagons hold? The gravity wagon... Uh... Wagons hold 680, but there's obviously two gravity wagons there, so what is it? I think 1360? 1360 is what we got in total. And oh, then okay. plus another two, so what? We're at 26 something, 2700 bushels if we get, you know, all four of those gravity wagons rolling. Gotcha. But I gotta check grain prices because it might not be a bad idea tomorrow morning since the elevator should be open to run. Uh, to run some corn down an elevator. Yeah, for sure. So, Grant, right, you well, think this is going to be your top yielding field, or the next one? I think do? this is. I think this next field is going to be real good here. It's good. Yeah, when I was seeding that, I put a lot of fertilizer down on it. Yeah. So, do you want to park? Uh, hmm. Do you want to park the case at my place then? Yeah. Is it, is it allowed over there? It is. It is. Austin right. might. Austin might. The dog might not let you in there, but uh, yeah, it's allowed. <laughs> a lot. Traitor. Trying to think of a good spot. I think what we could do is just back up right here to this fence. That should work good. All right. Don't you just love the look of uh, combines with their lights on? At night? <laughs> they look good, especially with that sunset. It's picture perfect right here. Yeah. Hey, if you guys want, you guys can just stay at my place. I got extra rooms. All right. Uh oh, is it gonna clip your uh, tractor? Oh, oh, hopefully not. Oh, there he goes. Looks like one of his cheerleading moves. <laughs> Good thing he can't hear us. <laughs> All right. Well, we better get to bed, boys. Here, I'll show you guys your rooms. All right. What do you mean? I'm going home. Oh, you're going home? Yeah. Mm. I don't live that far away. Okay. Okay. Steve is going to stay the night. 
You sure? Nah. Uh, maybe maybe I'll stay over here. Okay. You have to uh, wash your uniform. Wash my uniform. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you play in the football game? Yeah. Mm. I I toss it in the washer. I got a washer dryer go. combo, so I can just set it to yeah. wash and dry. Okay. I gotcha. You performed good though. You did. Uh huh. You gonna turn some lights on in here? Uh, we need to. Uh. Okay, I'll show you guys your beds. Uh, Austin, here's your room. <laughs> oh yeah, you're funny. <laughs> you're funny. No, it's Whatever. this closet. <laughs> are you are you potty trained? We got a little. <laughs> oh wow, wow! You guys just bully me everywhere I go. Huh? Well, I mean, okay. So all I got is couches, but. But I do have some PCs. If you guys want to play some farms tonight, you know, before you go to bed, I got two Apex game PCs here, squad PC and the squad plus PC. Uh, whatever one you guys want, you guys can fight over them. Who gets the squad plus, <laughs> who gets the squad PC. But if you guys want to play some farm sim, my okay. son plays all the time. So it's downloaded on both PCs. He brings his buddies over usually. So, And then one of you guys can sleep on this couch, one on the other. All right. Okay, I'll leave you two to it. All right. All right, I hope Austin doesn't do anything weird to me tonight. Ugh. Stevie, morning. Hey. Hey, did you coffee for you, man? Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, I only had enough for two cups. Looks like Austin. Is he is Austin still sleeping up there? I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh, okay. There he is. You got some coffee? You're not old enough. Yeah. What? Dude, I'm 16. Nah. Rule is 18. Screw, screw <laughs> that. I'm going to get coffee. <laughs> Where the heck do you keep this stuff? Okay, well, you boys are ready to go? We better get after it. Yeah. Nope, I need coffee. You well, going to run to Casey's? Yep. You sure your truck will start this cold? This oh, whatever. It's not that bad. Start her up, man. She's gonna have. Oh, that was easy. Pick up. Hey, pick me up some donuts, steel. Bring some yep. donuts, donuts back. All yep. right. Okay, it's, it's on you, Grant. It's on yeah. you. Yeah. on. Here's my, here's the business card. All right. I'll there be I'll go. be back in like ten minutes. Okay. We'll be waiting for you. Okay. Well, we probably should get the equipment fired up, warmed up, and stuff. You can get the case, and then I'll get uh, I'll get all these tractors started. All right. Uh, can I borrow your grease gun? Yep, yep. It's uh it's in the shop there. All right. All right. So we're doing our 12-hour inspection here in Greece. And it's nice and greased up. Don't want this case to be breaking down around John Deere country around here. You hear that? It sounds like that John Deere is having a little bit of a hard time starting. Outside. Oh my gosh. Hopefully that case fires up. Mine had a tough time starting. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's 35 degrees out, man. That was. We should have plugged these in overnight, probably. All right. Yeah, Nothing that a can of ether can't fix. True. <laughs> there he goes. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Honestly, the deer took a lot longer to start out there. That started up pretty quick. It's it's normal. <laughs> hey, uh, I was wondering if I could, uh, grab some fuel over there. For... Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Fuel, and you know what? Uh, yeah, grab fuel over there. Anything you need, grab it. Yeah, I gotta actually fill up too, so it'll work good. Okay. I'm gonna fire up the rest of the tractors here. Okay. Sounds like, uh, a lot of the tractors are having a hard time starting in this cold. Man, is it cold this morning. We're just going over here and filling up. Probably should have our lights on. It's still pretty early in the morning. Hook up this. There we go. So I'm going to take the 8970, I believe, and going to fill this up with fuel too. Be topped off then. 
Man, this thing takes a lot of fuel. Whew. Really digging this uh, 8970. It looks good. These big floater tires on there. Really good. Coffee for you, donut for you, coffee for you, donut for you. Oh, man. Thank you. Why do I get the extra sprinkles? Uh, don't you like extra sprinkles? Uh, you got me. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking is me and Stevia will run two headlands around here. Unless, actually, Austin, do you want to run the deer? Or if you guys mm. want to switch, feel free to run whatever. We I don't mind running the green cart, but... Okay. Okay, then I'll, I'll run a headland to lead away. Stevio, you can follow me. And then uh, I gotta figure out, huh? Here, let me, here, ch t take a look at my iPad here. How the field shape. You guys on the radio? Yep, I'm here. Okay, I just talked to uh, Jake, and he said he's gonna be here probably 20 ish minutes. I figured we'd have a full load for him in 20 minutes, so we'll be here then. Okay. And then Austin, I'm not sure what edge of the field he's going to pull in, whatever edge you want him to, or whatever whatever he decides. Just unload it into him. He's going to leave, and he's going to come back, and he's just going to be trucking a lot of the day for us. Wait, Stevia, where are you? I thought you were supposed to be behind me. Uh, I kind of went to the wrong direction. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, you're at field se oh, you're at field <laughs> seven down there. Oh, shoot. My bad. My bad. I kind of didn't explain yeah. what field we were going to. Oh shoot! You were, oh, you're thinking field seven the whole time. Yep. I got gotcha. you. Uh, can I just go for your place and get to field ten? There's a road to the east of our place right there. Okay. That, it's a gravel road back there. Uh, we're kind of on the, we're we're in the pasture that, or, I guess you don't know where the pasture is. We're kind I, of in the, yeah. You'll find this back here. I Hopefully. see the back of the grain cart. I'm I'm coming. Okay. Whoa, you got a quite the uh, road coming up yeah, here. Yeah, it's a little bumpy through there. All right. So I I'm finally to the right field, Grant. I'm coming right behind you. I okay, mm. I see you back in my mirror. Oh, wow. I don't know if my yield monitor is just a little cold right now, but I'm showing 210. Really? Yeah. I'm, sh I'm showing, uh, uh, it's bouncing around like 198 to 202. We're at about 200, it looks like. Yeah, I don't push as much out of the back like you do, so it's probably about right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, just let me know when you guys need it, and I'll, look. I'll run over. 10 4. So, uh, Austin, I'm, I had a half load last night on me, so. It's not going to be too long for me. Alrighty. Yeah, Austin, you should probably... Un Actually, you know what? It'll be good. For me, I can't have you unload me, but Stevia will be able to unload, I guess, now that I'm clearing the path. Did I give you enough room between that fence? Alright, you got enough. Yeah, I, I seem to have enough room. Yeah, Grant, I'm still bumping at uh, 210 here. Good field. Man. Yeah, see, I was pushing, ah, I was like 200 still. Something must be off, or maybe, maybe more grain is coming out the back. Man, I hate to wake the neighbors here, but uh, we are harvesting right next to their house. It's kind of early in the morning. Hopefully they're up. It looks like they're up. Their lights are on. Uh, yeah, it's just about 8 o'clock. Yeah, they should be up. If they're not up, well, then on a weekday, then they're obviously not. Yeah, especially with Stevia's combine back there, dude. That thing is loud. Yeah, yeah. they're not awake. They will be. This is their <laughs> alarm. <laughs> Am I good to back up? I don't know where you're at. Oh, all right. Hold up. Hold up. All right. Good. Yeah, you're good. Austin, right. if you want to unload me here, here's a perfect spot. I got. I only got about. I got 320 bushels on here. I got about. 80 more I could fit on here. All right, I'll time. rip up uh, as soon as Stevia's out of the way. How many bushels you got on the cart right now? Uh, my monitor's off. I can't really see it very well. Okay. Austin, you put a little sauce in that coffee this morning. You're a little wabby. Yeah, you're all over <laughs> the road, dude. You're all over the. 
No, I'm just... It, it, yeah, I'm just getting used to it. Stevie, you're while. leaving more corn for the deer, dude. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I just want you to get a big buck this year. <laughs> we did have one run out uh, right before you came, actually. Run it, it ran right out in front of the corn. If if this uh, if there's any deer in here, this cow bite will get them out. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like uh, this is where we part ways. We'll see you later, Austin. Y'all on channel 13 here? Yep. You are. All uh, right. Well, I uh, I found my way to the field. I'm parked up here on the what's this south side? Yeah, I'll just uh, head over there and unload into ya. Uh... All right. Is there a easier way in and out of this field here, or? No, not really. Now, Stevie, I'm showing I'm showing like a 185 bushel over on this end. What are you showing? Uh, 206. 206. So it came down a little bit. Yep. I All right, think Jake, I'm good to go. Ten four. It's probably good with all that uh, corn you're pushing out the back. Feed the deer <laughs> on the outside there. <laughs> all right, do you guys need unloading here pretty quick? Oh yeah, I need yeah, it. Yeah, I got about two hundred thirty bushels on me. I could I could unload. All right, I'm coming up as fast as I can. How much do you have left, Grant? Oh, I have uh, I have about two hundred bushels left. I can put in the combine yet. Hey, what uh, about you, Austin? I'm yeah. just about yeah, full. Yeah, I'm holding first. All right, man, that case can't hold as much, huh? Uh, about four fifty. What is that combine? Huh? The John Deere. Uh, it's. About 400 ish. Ah, I see. It's just because I'm getting more uh, bushels to the acre. Alright, I'm gonna go on this side, and then you can start unloading. Alright. Hey, do you guys want me to keep heading straight and just cut across this field, and then we'll work, we'll work back and forth here? Yeah. That'd or... make it easier. Okay. That's what we'll do then. I know Jake's kind of, or Jake's kind of on the other end down there. It'll be a little dry for you to get down there, but this should work good. Yo, Austin, slow up a little bit. All right. Grant, you just want to work on opposite sides, or just work on the same? It'd be cool if it'd be good if we work on the same, especially with the green cart right next to us. I think. If you're All down right. with that. All right. You're gonna work on the bigger side or the smaller first. I was gonna work on the bigger right here. Just, I was just going to start heading back this way on this bigger chunk. And then I was thinking the chunk, the, the, the piece you're working on, we'll come back a little later and get that. All right, I'll, I'll swing around back over there when I'm headed back. 10 4. Hey, uh, Grant, I'll get these uh, ears of corn you missed over here. Was that me or was that you? Uh, that was definitely you. Oh. It's okay. I picked them up for you. Thank you. Uh, you wanna once you get head down, cut a path in the middle of this field. Yeah, yeah, that'd work good. That'd work good. I can do that. I think somebody did put something in that coffee, cause that you can't. Stevie, you're a little crooked there, dude. It. Yeah. Did you spike uh, my coffee this morning? No, I did not. I did. Spike. I don't know Austin did. <laughs> well, we know Austin can't purchase it at the gas station, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> listen to this. I I can purchase a lot more than you guys think. Austin, your voice sounds a little tired. You must have been screaming all last night. Screaming? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're at the football game. Why would I be screaming? It's a football game. Yeah, you don't scream when you play actual football. That's Try not right. to. I apologize. That's right. That's right. Give me a A. <laughs> what? Uh, is there something <laughs> I'm not getting here? What? Did you guys mistake me for my twin that's a male cheerleader? Cause I feel like the jokes that you guys are making, that that's kind of the case. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, we we don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have a twin that's one, so that's probably if you guys are making those jokes, that's a, I I can only assume that's why. Hmm. Austin, just remember, it's always the grain cart driver's fault. Get out of my that's way, man. I am. <laughs> I was <swear. laughs> You see, only case drivers make those kinds of jokes, so. This guy in Minnesota does, too. Oh, who's that? Uh, Who are you talking about? I think you know him. By the way, I need dumped and you're not here. Yeah, because I'm unloading Grant. Chillax. Man, them floater tires on that grain cart really float getting the ground when it's loaded down. Oh yeah. Just pause here for a little bit. There we go. We're good. So we're unloading the last of today's load into Austin here. And so we got a lot of acres harvested over here on Squad's field. I'll probably just leave a uh, beast over on uh, by uh, squads place here but this was definitely fun helping out Grant on this field here thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe See you next time.